If you needed more reasons for the election to terrify you, Bloomberg reports here, a new online study finds that Republicans and independents are twice as likely as Democrats to say they would not give their true opinion in a telephone poll question about their preference for president in the 2020 election. That raises the possibility that polls understate support for President Donald Trump. Some 11.7% of Republicans and 10.5% of independents said they would not give their true opinion versus 5.4% of Democrats, according to the study by Cloud Research LLC, a Queens, New York-based company that conducts online market research and data collection for clients. Among the reasons they gave was that it's dangerous to express an opinion outside of the current liberal viewpoint. According to Lieb Littman, the co-chief executive officer and chief research officer. Okay, so that's interesting. And basically the argument here is that means there's always going to be in the polls are always going to come across more bias in favor of Democrats because more Republicans are not going to tell you that they're Republicans and they're going to vote Republican. That's what that means. So I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't know how much pollsters tweaked their criteria post the 2016 election. I'm sure they did something to try to ameliorate the little bit that they were off. By the way, they weren't that off. They were only off in terms of their prediction of the outcome in terms of the actual numbers. Nationally, they weren't too far off. But like, I'm sure they did some changes to try to account for what effectively was like a little bit of a secret Trump vote. Um, but I don't know how much they accounted for it and you know should you keep this in mind with every poll you look at i don't know i'm not an expert but i do know that recently i've been seeing a lot of contradictory evidence when it comes to this election um biden had a pretty big lead that lead has slimmed a little bit but how much that i mean that's the question there's one poll from a questionable polling company that has them effectively tied in michigan when biden had a giant lead in michigan previously now in the in the average of polls, he's up like seven points in Michigan. So again, how close is it really? I don't know. There's another poll I just saw that apparently people who were third party voters previously. Now Biden is winning them over Trump two to one. Two to one. So, you know, that's a data point that cuts in Biden's direction. So I don't know, man. I could sit here all day and ring off different things that I've read, which indicate contradictory things for the upcoming election. Um... But I don't know how useful it is. I don't know how fruitful it is. I know Michael Moore was just doing the same thing that he did in 2016. Now, in 2016, he was accurate. He was dead on when he said, I think Trump can win. And he gave all these reasons, and he was right. Well, now he's sounding the alarm again for 2020. And he's going to some specific polls and showing some numbers and saying, hey, this is why you got to pay attention, man. You can't, like, this is real. This is still a race. It's real. And he fears a Trump victory again. Um, the reason why... Listen, I don't know what's going to happen, and my predictions can change as we move forward. But at this moment, I still think Biden is a slight favorite. And the reason I think he's a slight favorite, there are many reasons, but I still think Trump's 2020 strategy is significantly worse than his 2016 strategy. And beyond that, there's still a pandemic and a depression on his watch. And it's hard to overcome a pandemic and a depression. It's very, very hard to overcome a pandemic and a depression. And then you mix in with that, that you're running a horrendous strategy. I still think Biden's uh, a favorite, but listen, I'm trying to give you data points on the other side of this as well. I'm trying to give you the total picture and um, there you have it. There you have it. So polls might perpetually undercount Republicans. Do with that information whatever you will.